bit of a zoner. He doesn't really, you know, utilize Neo's in that kind of way. He doesn't really throw a lot of space. What Sheik wants to do is really get in there, really get in your face. And that's where things like our reticle and, of course, uh, Explosive Flame are going to be able to kind of keep WebJP in place. Now, that is even if Mateo can even get out of this combo that, I mean, we already know. WebJP is going to be utilizing so beautifully. The drag down into the back is so nice. Beautiful parry, though, allowing Mateo for a second to get some percentage on the board. Yeah, one thing I'm going to be trying to point out this set, Mott, is going to be the offstage game. Both of these players and both of these characters can excel at the offstage game and the ledge guarding game, too. So it's going to be very important to notice some of the habits that both of these players are going to have coming back onto stage. So far, so good, though, from Web playing all that consistent damage game. But I feel like once Sheik has a very safe touch on a shield, every player is going to punish. And so far, both players that Web has played on stream both have. Exactly, and as we go straight back into our, our, to our match here, WebJP is just completely in the control, and I love to see it. The, the parry game is on point. The com the combos are on point, the positioning, the air dodging as well. It really is sending Mateo into oblivion as we get that needle into the bouncing fish, and that's going to be enough for WebJP to continue this onslaught. We're off stage, Mateo rolling back to the stage as well, and having to actually evade the situation. Doesn't want to really engage with WebJP with needles fully charged up as well. It's so scary when you're fighting Web. Just the well, last time I was at Fusion, I think I actually fought Web in bracket. Sometimes Web is just moving so quick around you that your brain kind of stutters there especially when he's hitting the needles and you're in that hit stun into the bouncing fish it almost looks guaranteed at certain percents here but now mateo gonna be able to find the sh the jump around into the back air here and also the back throw but web now only hitting 100 percent about two minutes in mateo needs time to catch up and the up smash won't just do it but instead the teleport cancel up air whip I love that approach from Mateo, and, it, and the fact that we're able to actually teleport, cancel, and p predict the positioning of OJP in that moment was so uh, so crucial. But even more crucial is, unfortunately, you can't let your guard down even when you get the stock finally you've been trying to get for so long. Mateo folding once more to the Bouncing Fish, and again, is OJP in the lead, stock-wise, percentage-wise, all of the above. Positioning, God, we said it right here. As we Ooh. see, we get the little dip off the stage, and we're going to continue it. Stop it. You're crazy. Against Palu. Not for long, though. Yeah, I'm loving the way, too, that Webb was directly trying to put Mateo underneath the stage enough where he'd actually pineapple right underneath the ledge. So smart. Mateo, though, going to be able to respond and recover only for a moment, though, as Webb once again dominating the ledge play here, Mott. And that's what Webb does so well, that edge guard, that ledge play, everything. That's Ooh. where he really wants you to be. But where Paula wants to be, really anywhere. She can get this, uh, this up smash again, not but able to beat it out with the get up attack the drag down is gonna come out and will that secure it yes it will web showcasing the beauty of Sheik and really any matchup and a lot of matchups that should be a little bit you know really wonky for her web just says no i can do that i'm i'm simply just different the combo routes, Ma, it, it comes down to the end of the day, these combo routes, knowing exactly where to go, knowing exactly where Mateo is going to fall on the stage to lead into the perfect F smash. But this is a character swap that I don't think I have seen in the past, like, three years. I thought Pichu was dead, but instead, no, we are going to fight Nimble and Quick with Nimble and Quick. And I actually like this pick for Mateo here. This is definitely out of Pandora box of characters this is a character and a half pichu of course i've seen a couple of times over in, in my little area of the woods which is you know really a hop spinch of a way and pichu the biggest factor about here is you do damage to yourself everything you do has to be so meticulous has to be with purpose it cannot be willy nilly throwing out any attack and i think that's what mateo is looking for right here right now everything that he's throwing out has a purpose it has intent and of course it opens opportunities to keep this game a lot more even than it was in the game one yeah i i actually really like this pick too because pichu while yes a smaller bit of a character the hitboxes are also a little bit weird right so once again web trying to get the pokes and prods in here too but mateo playing very very careful and very very cautious because once you said mod i mean the character does damage to itself but look how much more even this game number two is compared to game one 
Exactly, I think that's what they want to to showcase. We need to keep the game a lot more even. We can really, you know, keep up with someone like Sheik, who is, like you said earlier, very, you know, very quick, very fast, can kind of, you know, make you hit a wall when you're seeing someone so quickly up approach you. Now you're seeing Web being forced to take a slower approach, and that's not going to be enough. I thought it was, but if it was any closer, even center stage, would have been a stock. Gotta watch out for the down smash and the dash attack as well. Pichu, once again, while Light can also hit like a truck here. 125 on Web and 120 on 122 on Mateo here. This first stock is not going off easy. About two minutes into the game so far, and we're not seeing any stock loss. I, I mean, Web not being able to find the ideal combo rats because Mateo and Pichu are so small to the ground. But still, Mateo gonna be able to find first stock. Absolutely, Mateo showcasing that we are going to be taking that first stock really easily. But you are light. We've been saying this. Pichu is a light character. You're at the high percent of rage. You're going to keep. You're going to only keep building up that rage for yourself. That percentage. So you have to just utilize everything you have, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. Trying to get the thunder really, really scary situation because Web is such a or she is such a thin character to land such a big move on wouldn't have worked, but the needle's not gonna be enough. We're gonna charge up a little bit more as Mateo is just kind of weaving around uh, a lot of the space that Sheik wants to occupy. Even then, Dash Tech not gonna be taking it. Yeah, and still Pichu living at 170 is such an odd thing to even think about. Webb trying to get the rapid jab in, but it's not going to be enough here. This is a ton of rage and Mateo, I, I mean, we were talking about Sturdy in the beginning of the night with Bowser. I'm seeing uh, Mateo live longer on Pichu at 175 than Leon was earlier in the night. No, truly, and it's quite a funny little quinky dink, right? Now, even then, if we're still seeing Pichu live to 180 and, and counting. Webb is unable to really, you know, kill, get this kill off. And, you know, I don't want to be the person that says, you know, she can't kill. But, man, this is one example that is showcasing <laughs> that at the worst moment. And I don't... No! Oh, no, oh, no, 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 I can't believe it. I can't believe this. 203, that is finally going to take it. I believe at what was 212% Mott. Not looking too good for Webb right now, but once again, we gotta get something started. There's the up tilt, or the up smash, not going to be enough here, as now Mateo can take his sweet time when it comes to getting this stock off, but now Webb trying to make something happen, and it's just going hit for hit. And we're not seeing too much come out for both characters. No, unfortunately we're not, and that should be able to take the second stock from Webb in a very convincing manner. Mateo pretty much had a fresh new stock. Webb at the last stock, and it's such a really weird, you know, predicament that Webb has been put in. Webb has been playing so well, and it's not even just today, in the past couple of months, so consistently. And it's Mateo's three-year-old Pichu <laughs> that comes out of the woodworks and really makes a, makes a run for his money. Now, thankfully, we do have an extra game to play with if this game goes to a game three in favor of Mateo. You saw the early bouncing fish. You saw the kill. You saw the red glare from WebGP wanting that second stop to just go away before we get to the 50% mark. I'm just loving the way I really like this counter pick. I can't get over it. I mean, I said this at the beginning of the of the match, right? I mean, Pichu's a little bit smaller, right? It's hard to, you know, really get those routes out on a character that's a little bit small, a little bit quick here. Still, Web trying to line Line up off of the tilt to try and get a follow-up. Not going to be able to find anything, though. Look at this, though. Here comes Mateo. No tech. The forward smash. And that is going to be it. A two-stock coming in from Mateo's Pichu. And I got to say, Mott, we're probably going to see another game of this. Bro, where did that come from? <laughs> Bro, I don't know. Where did the Pichu come the, from? Yo, the Pichu Discord going crazy right now. <laughs> I know, they're like, yo, Mateo just came back with the Pichu. Pichu yo, 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 I Ramses, mean, if you can hear me from the other room, Pichu on the graphic, bro. No Paltana, Pichu on the graphic, bro. I need Pichu on the graphic. I don't Pichu care what anyone says. Graphic. Palu so last year. We Palu need the Pichu so now. 20, Palu is so 2020, or 2018 to 2022. It is the year of the Pichu here. And we're going to be seeing it again here on Small Battlefield. I like this pick a lot here for Webb. So now we want to just avoid Mateo running away for as long as he did kind of last time. And we want to mm -hmm. get a little bit more close quarters. I completely agree. That's why I love when people do go to a small battlefield. They're just like, you want to run away? Well, I'm going to suck you into this tight lit space and you have to deal with me up close and personal where Sheik loves that, 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 you know, that up close personal space. She loves it. She thrives in it. And you're seeing that a little bit here in this even game. Again, it was even last game, of course, yeah. but 
you know, Webb, I feel like, is, is more in his comfort on this uh, on this tighter nip stage. Yeah, absolutely. I think we have access to platforms a little bit closer to the ledge, so we have tons of options to escape, right? Like Webb just using the bouncing fish to get back onto let or get back onto stage here. Still, though, once again, just like we're seeing in game number two, we're being a little bit more cautious. We're kind of poking the bear and then backing up to see what follow-ups we can get. Still, though, great tech in place by Mateo and going to be able to find the forward air so we can still continue the consistent damage here. But I feel like Webb is struggling to find a way in when Mateo is just holding down center stage so well. There's the down air going for the up smash, but unfortunately, the full up air doesn't connect, and that is going to be Mateo still living another day. Exactly, and we see seen Mateo live really, really crazy percentages even then. Not going to be enough to keep him off the stage even longer. The needle is going to be connecting on the ledge, however, punishing the get-up the get up uh, option from Mateo. We're back on ledge, we get the roll tech read, and that is finally a win on the board for Reggie P against this relentless Pichu. Yeah, and look at this now. Mateo is the one who's actually going to be coming out of the corner at this point and start to be the one that's aggressing here, but it will be the read onto the stage with the forward smash, and we're going back down to even here. Still, Webb, I think Webb is doing a little bit better as the game goes on and finding the the optimal routes here. Once again, I feel like he's still playing a little bit cautious here because once again, Pichu has a little bit of kill power for some reason still in this tiny, tiny rat. But now we're trying to get something started. Great get up attack by WebJP, but the neutral Mott Neva has been really good between both players. Completely agree. This is pretty much peak neutral, peak footsie game we could be seeing between both characters, both players really at this high level and in top four, and top four of course, but again, we are seeing Mateo in the deficit here, percentage-wise. Webb is in the kind of like really confident in the positioning on this platform right on the ledge, trying to just weave around Pichu as much as Pichu's weaving around Webb. It's a lot of weaving here and there, but boom, we fall right into the attack, and that's gonna be what Webb is gonna be utilizing to get this confidence back up and get this hopefully a two-one. Ooh, that was a great way using the Vanish to actually stop the down special coming out from Pichu. And now Mateo actually going to be landing in center stage, which allows for Webb to continue the advantage we have. Rapid Jab has just seemed to get the most mileage off of Pichu here. So we're going to see Webb use it twice. But now here comes Mateo trying to get something back started again. But look at this. There's a huge lap now in terms of percent. And Webb is doing a really good job of playing safe, recognizing, you know what? I don't exactly have the exact lineup I want, so I'm not going to play it super, super aggressive here and just do what I do best. There's the down tilt into the up air, and Pichu is insanely light, so that's going to be it. I literally hear Mateo in the camera saying, what happened? And uh, that's what happens when you play Pichu, man. The Pichu surprise pick, I think, is kind of what it's helped funny. him in that game, too. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you're busting out Pichu, you know, that's a, it's your whole game plan for, for Web completely shifting gears or you were originally you know be making a game plan for that palu making a game plan for a slower gameplay you know be, she wants to be a little more long range she wants to you know really utilize that ledge for things like back air for us match we saw right there but the pichu just shifts gears yeah and it goes it goes so well for mateo but web again has that like i want to say just top level top player vibe where i can adapt on the fly. Yeah. I can adapt to your situation. I am on the stage that I prefer that you cannot run away in. And look what happens. We get the win off of a beautiful chase on the up air. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think when it came to this game number two, it was really just kind of what I like to call limit testing. Uh, for, for Webb here, right? It's I don't really exactly know the direct route on Pichu because I probably have never practiced a route on Pichu before. And Pichu is a little bit slippery, slippier and a little bit slidier than some of the other characters in the cast. And sometimes we'll just fall out, you know, that very famous Pikachu pancake that we talk about here. But still, it was a great showing from Mateo's Pichu. I hope we see more of it. Gotta just once again, you know, remember that you're a little tiny little mouse and uh, you get sent off the top. That's kind of what happens here. So, uh, yeah. We're going out to Losers it, it Finals, Mott. Yeah, I, that's Pichu for you. I mean, people stop playing the character for a reason. That's all I'm saying.